So, so how does the plasma cutter actually work? What does it do? I like to explain it to you, but you know, it's a secret trade secret nah, you can't it, talk it's, about. It's actually uh, the plasma cutter actually causes between the electrostatic space between the tip and the uh, material will cause that EM field to fluctuate, which causes uh, a plasma field. And even though it's electrifying, and all you have is electric and air, once that air hits it. The constitution of oxygen being shoved through it will actually make it into a cutting force. It's actually separating the material, almost on a molecular level, near molecular level. Wow. And so it, it can actually cut it. And, and, and you know, I just cut this, I can, I can put my hand on it, you know, with less than a minute. Wow. With a torch, 20 minutes you won't be able to touch sure. it. Sure. And it, with a torch, it would cut, it would... You um, wouldn't get that straight line. Either. Yeah, you wouldn't get it straight. I mean, this is... This is some thick material. You can see at an angle, it has a hard time cutting through that thick. It wasn't built to go that thick. Um, but it, it's great for cutting. You know, you, you can get them so big that it could be so big that it wouldn't want to cut something this small. Sure. It would damn near destroy it. Right. And uh, But it works for me. For 220 volts, a little bit of air and electric versus gas bottles and all the other bullshit you got to go through. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I can write my name in something if I wanted to. <laughs> it's, you know, you can do it freehand. Uh, when I want to, if I needed to cut something apart that I don't want to heat excessively, mm -hmm. uh, or, or don't want to put the acetylene gases into something, then I can use that. Uh, Wicked. That's not bad.